guys, welcome back. I just wanted to give you an update on my beautiful Monstera Albo. She is ready to be put into some soil. Let's see if we can get a good picture of her. Now, I could have, if I wanted to, I could have cut this right here and made two plants, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave her as is. Look how huge it is root is awesome okay my uh unboxing the other day i did not do it for the simple fact it wasn't a rare plant at all and it was really filthy when i took it out of the, the packaging but here she is this is a black cardinal philodendron. And they do get really big. Let's see if I can show you a smaller one. Okay. Oh my God, this thing's heavy. Okay. Now, last year I bought one that looks like this, about this size. This is called a upright philodendron. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the moonlight. But anyhow, when you get them this small, don't be amazed when they get this big within a year. This thing is huge. But just beware, because if you buy something this small, it is going to be huge like this one very soon. Okay. Now, the pot that I have for my Monstera is a little larger than what I normally would use. But for this plant, I've decided I'm going to put it in a larger pot. Just be a little careful on watering. Because I don't want to have to transplant it again anytime soon. And I'm going to be putting a moss pole in it. So, let's see how she's going to fit in here. Oh, yeah. Um, my mix is a quarter per perlite. And it has half just regular um, potting soil, just the regular miracle Grow. that's all it's available at right now, and um, some bark. I put some bark in there to help hold moisture. It's got perlite to <clears throat> let it seep through, and then the miracle Grow has uh, fertilizing pellets in it, but I do have some little job sticks that I'm going to add into it. Because I don't like using fertilizers because they burn the leaves and the roots and everything else. So, that's what I'm going to do with that. And then I have a couple other plants I'd like to show you. They're back in the plant room. Okay. All right, well, I'm back. I've got her all potted up and I went ahead and decided to pot her up because she decided to shoot a couple leaves this direction. So I'm assuming at some point, one of these leaves is gonna actually produce a new one. So she took it to death. Um, I've already watered her in and I used the water that she was actually propagated in with this watering and there's a better shot of my black cardinal. And this is the emerald green. And look how big he has gotten. She is massive. But yeah, just beware when you buy them that size. Within a year, they're going to be that size. I mean, she is just massive. Okay. Uh, I'll take you back to the other room and show you a couple other plants I have.
Okay, guys, this is my bathroom, so it's a 1980s bathroom, sorry. Um, this is a neon pothos, but it is actually probably the rarest plant I have because it is variegated. It doesn't have a lot of variegation in it, but it does have a little. And then I have one over here. This is also a variegated one. And it was by accident that I got this one. I did, I think I gave Stephanie a piece of it. This is a resurrection plant. When it dries out, it curls up like it's dead and then you just give it some water and it flattens back out. And then over here, I have just an aloe that has a couple little babies. And then this is the Crimson Queen, which actually has a new leaf right there. And then this is a Starfish Sansevieria. This is a pubicalyx of some type that Stephanie gave me and it didn't do anything for a long time and now it is just growing like crazy. And this is the Curtitii or Curtitii or, yeah, that she also gave me and it took forever to start growing but she's actually growing now. And I have no idea, some type of splash on that, I don't know. And then up at the top, I have a uh, Black Pagoda lipstick that Stephanie gave me, and it keeps dying on me, and then it'll grow, and then it will die. It actually even gave me a bloom this year, and she is in with some Trident Scantia. Um, what else do we got? Okay, over here I have... Um, can't remember what the heck it's called. This is a Cissus roundifolia, which it wouldn't do nothing. I've got it in a terracotta pot. I wish I had never done that. But she now has a new leaf. And I've had it for a long time. And this is my variegated prayer plant. And it didn't do anything for a really long time. And then when it started growing, it started growing straight up in the air. And it was so cool. But as you can tell, all the new growth is doing really well. This is all the older stuff. And this is one of my um, dubians. The large plant just died off. I, I don't know if I ever watered it, what the heck was going on, but it did. And I think I got... Maybe eight starts off of it. This one's doing really well. And then this is amazing here. This is the Crimson Princess. And for some reason, she has been putting out white leaves. I'm not sure why. I've never seen the princess ever do that before. So that's really bizarre. And she's getting some new growth too. And then I have an alocasia in here. And this sad old thing. I'm getting ready to go to the grubbage. Because I just don't know what to do with work. I'm just kind of over it. And then over in this corner, I have a horse head by Penifolia. And it's just a baby. I have about five of these now. So, all the junk in the bathroom. Okay, guys. Now we're back in this mess. Oh, this is crazy. This is a Sissus. And when I transplanted her, she is not happy, as you can tell. 
Uh, she's still growing though, so hoping for the best for that thing. But over here is my Thai constellation. I just recently repotted it. And it had this huge aerial root that came out and then just shot right down into the dirt. So I figured it was time to repot. And I'm glad I did because she was starting to get root bound. And this is my beautiful white knight. Which I think I'm going to propagate it soon and then if I ever get to 2,000 subscribers I would like to do a giveaway on a piece of it but look how beautiful she is so pretty and the lighting in here stinks I'm sorry I got lots of lights on in here so but yeah my white knight is huge now and let's see if I can get a picture that's her newest leaf. And let's see who else I have back here. And back in this area, I have, this is my little Billa tie I just got not too long ago. She did lose three leaves when I first got it, but it's putting out a new one. So that makes me very happy because I spent a gazillion dollars on the darn thing. She's doing all right. This is my King Betty I, the King Anthurium. Doing okay. And then this is my Hoya Carnosa or Hoya Carii, which actually has put out a brand new leaf for me. It had three different leaves coming out. They all fell off except for that one. So that's good. And then up here I have a variegated peperomia watermelon. Yeah, that thing, never mind. That thing's worthless. And then this is my polybotra. She's actually putting on some new leaves and I need to water it. And then hiding in there is my string of turtles, because that's where he lives. Um, another horse head philodendron bipinifolium, or bipinifolia, which has a new baby coming up. Um, my crimson queen, which is, wow, she's just I, lovely. She's going all the way up there. My micro macrophyllum varigotum. I thought it was gonna die on me, but it is just now starting to get some new leaves. And the husband's out there mowing if you can hear him. Sorry. <laughs> it's one of them days. And then this is my glory osum. Which was just a little stump when I got it. But she's starting to grow now. And then this one is the Spa Peru. And I got this one and the Vecchi Eye. Um, it was a plant trade for my baby white knight I had. And this one is the one, the Spa Peru that I got from Stephanie. And it's doing really well. This is um, a Tetrasperma that I got from Stephanie. And for some reason, it has no splits at the top. I don't know why. It has a couple at the bottom, but none at the top. So, hmm, don't know. <clears throat> Very sad peperomia back there. Yeah. Um, my Addisonii wide form. And my um, Randy Annum, which has decided she wants to crawl up the side of this plant, so that's where I'm leaving her. She likes it there, so that's where she's going. 
This is my other tetrasperma that I put it for. And he is getting big. Yeah, I don't know what the difference between the two Rapidiforas are. I have no idea, honestly. But this one's doing really good. And then, <clears throat> there's a Cebu Blue. And then, one of my Chinese Evergreens. I think this one's the Sparkling Sarah. I'm not sure. I love these plants. <clears throat> This is my beautiful Orbifolias. This one is finally killing off this last leaf. And uh, there's a leaf over here it needs to go to. But it's doing it by itself. And she has two, three, I think five new leaves coming in. And this one's putting out a new leaf. And then I let her get too close to the sun, the lamp that I had, and it burned it, which is my fault. And I take the credit for that one because it was my fault. But she's doing really well. She's putting out lots of new leaves too. And then up there I have an Adam Sunny Eye, the narrow form, which hates me. No love lost there. Uh, one of my Cebu Blues, which is all, all the way hanging to the floor now. And then a Mandula, which has a totally dark streak on it, which I'll probably be propagating pretty soon. This one Stephanie gave me. The lemon lime. So pretty. But it took forever for this one to start growing, but now she actually is. And then down there, I have another um, white pen. Or, no, that's my Dubian. And then up here, this, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I think it's a type of trident scanthia. This is from Sonia. Sonia, if you see it, honey, look how huge she has gotten. And it actually has another one coming out the side. Um, another Menjula. And then a Marble Queen. Uh, Bird's Nest Fern. Okay, down here I have just a golden pothos, which is crawling up the wall. And then this is the uh, bunny baby, bunny bellies, trident scanthia, which don't look too great. But he does have a fern living in there, and it's got a new leaf. I'm pretty amazed with that. <clears throat> and then I just have some propagations. And then more um, Chinese evergreens. Um, there's the chocolate. I have no idea what that one's called. And then my trivii. Uh, silver something. Trivii, moon. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. My head is fried today. The dog is barking. Um, there is my fry deck, which, hmm, I don't know. Kind of over that plant, honestly. He's got the three leaf syndrome, so if he gets another one, it'll die off. And then just all my aglaonemas, I got them everywhere, it is massive. I can't even tell you how many I have now. I think that's called moonshine. I don't know. She was having a hard time growing. I don't know what the problem was, but it finally is now actually doing really well. I took some cuttings from it, and I don't think it appreciated that whatsoever. So I probably won't be doing that for a while. And then 
One of my prides and joys is my Stanleyana variegated. And it sent out all these crazy <clears throat> runners. And then finally it's starting to get leaves again. And I was like, my goodness, what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to cut them off? I don't know. But he's doing really well now. <clears throat> and I repotted it. Um, got some Draxina up in the corner with a spider plant. Um, my Macaulay's Finale, which has got a new leaf. I don't know if you can see that. And then my other variegated lemon lime, or my variegated neon pothos. And then I have a lowrider. And this is one of the newer plants I got. This is the Rojo Congo. And I wish em Emily was here so she could say it because she can roll her R's and it sounds so cool. <clears throat> and then over in this corner, I have a Purple Passion, another Chinese Evergreen, my um, cardboard plant, my Freddy, My Florida Beauty Draxina, which is very pretty. And then a Devil's Backbone. And then my little Scotty. <laughs> Funny. And then my Hoya. Some Hoyas. Australis, and then, what's the other one? Um, shoot, I'm brain dead today. I start school back tomorrow, so that's where my brain is. And then, <laughs> this is a Mikan's that Stephanie gave me. It's the cuttings that she gave me, and look at it, you guys. It's gone crazy. Look how big it is now. I think she gave me, I don't know how many cuttings, but it is gone wild, folks. I need to trim it back, I think, and propagate it. And then my burgundy rubber plant. This is the Taniki, and it got a lot of light. And then the strawberries and cream. This is my Gigantia. Seems to be doing okay. Um, a, spin, a Scandapsis Pictus, which grows all the way up there now. She is huge. And then we have a Fluffy Bamboo. Which is also huge. And then a night blooming cactus, whatever that thing is. It hates me. And then just some golden pothos. And then a pearls and jade down there. And then my peace lily, which has got a bloom on it. This is the domino which is getting lots of variegation on it. Okay. This is my Audrey, which is doing really good. I think she's only lost one leaf since I got it. I'm really proud of that plant. And then my Fetonias. All I want is water, water, water. And then this is my Burl Marks. He was tiny when I got him. He's getting so big now. And then that's my narrow philodendron. And then my mother by Penifolium, the horse head. Which is really getting big. And then just an arrowhead. I'm not sure exactly what kind. With a little sea blue blue in there. 
and a little silvery and it looks like and then my fiddles passion and another variegated pepperonia and then my beautiful Thai constellation <clears throat> sorry guys it is hard to get around in this room and then this is my little silver sword and a African Violet, which I have not killed yet, and I'm amazed. This is my Birkins, which is getting ready to put out a new leaf. Um, and then the Happy Bean thing, which is never happy. My Hoya Abavada, and for some reason this leaf grew upside down, and I think she needs some water. But it's just now starting to grow now, so I'm tickled. I don't know how I got back in this corner, guys, but I did. And then, this is supposed to be a rosy uh, picta. I've had it under light, and it just has never changed colors. I don't know. And then some more Aglianina. Another Pupitalix down there. This was from another... Uh, subscriber this is also some cuttings of a micans which is doing really well and then some prayer plants down here then i have some cuttings back there of a um the maria aglianema i believe and then a lemon lime drexena hiding back here And I think that's about all in this room. Pretty sure. Phew, there's a lot. Not as bad as I thought it would be there. And this is my large Mikans. And she's all the way to the floor. And then another Adansonii that keeps losing its le uh, splits. I don't uh, know. And then, of course, my beautiful gray dragon. She's so pretty. She did lose a couple leaves, but she's still very, very pretty. And she seems to be doing pretty good. So, I think that's everybody in here. I'm sure it isn't, but I know the lighting's so terrible. But, I hope you guys enjoyed my little tour. And my rattlesnake plant, you guys, I had two of them. One of them totally died. They got the exact same light, the exact same water, everything. I don't know what happened. Just one day, the other one just said, I don't love you anymore, and died. So I don't know. This one is probably one of my favorites. So pretty. And then I got this beautiful one here that has the red in it. Yeah. Just lovely, 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 lovely. I love them all very much. Well, anyhow, guys. I don't want this to go any longer than it had to. Oh, I do have a Pepper Romeo right there that is actually doing pretty good and is whining. And I don't know what kind it is. And then I have a um, crocodile fern back in there. I had to put it near the light because he wasn't doing very well. So I think they're okay now. But... I think that's all for now, guys. And there's a huge arrowhead back there in the corner. I always forget him. I don't know what kind it is. I call it a chocolate arrowhead because I have no idea. But if anybody wants me to show them how to do these uh, pulls, oh my gosh, you guys, I can do it for under $1.50.
So if you want to know how to do that, just let me know and I will do some for you. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. I gotta go make dinner. Love y'all. Happy growing. Please stay safe. Stay at home. No matter what anybody tells you, if you can, stay at home. And wash your hands a thousand times a day. Love y'all. Please be safe. Bye.